Hello there, back again for the second week. We're now actually into the early hours of Monday morning because all of my Sunday was spent doing video stuff. I obviously got up and published uh, the video you saw last week of episode one of this. Then me and Laura recorded a long, long video, which I'm hoping you'll have seen by now, but depending on how long this editing and stuff takes, you may not have done. Uh, I'll be doing it as best I can. It was basically a tier list video. Um, you might have seen that. If not, you'll be seeing it soon. So basically I've done the first part of editing for that and that is now rendering, which also means that the computer is just completely out of bounds. Um, there's nothing else I really need to do, which I'm going to be able to do without the use of the computer because, you know, spreadsheets and stuff are on there things I can make notes on are on there. So I am actually gonna go grab some food and I'm gonna head to bed. And then tomorrow, Monday, uh, we're gonna get on with some stuff. We actually have some errands we're gonna run, which are sort of Pokemon related. So yeah, we'll get onto those in the morning. All right, so pretty much all of today so far has been me working on editing that tier list video. Um, it was, I was hoping to have it today. It's gonna be Friday now. We're pushing it right back because of how long it is gonna take. And now Laura's back, just having something to eat, then we're heading out to do our uh, shopping errands, which are Pokemon related, or card game related at least. So I will show you what we get uh, when we are back. Okay, back from the uh, shopping trip. The main thing we actually went out to get, we ended up not getting. Uh, so what I was looking for is I was trying to get another bookcase like this to replace this one, because my binders are starting to overflow onto the floor. So I'm going to get another bookcase the size of this one to put there. And then this little white one is going to go over here next to these two white ones um, and just start holding magic and other stuff. But we did get some other cool stuff, so I'll go through that now. I'll show you what we picked up on our shopping trip. So these finally came in at my work. This is the uh, Meowth V and Meowth V Max box. And the next thing we're actually doing today, TCG related, is I'm going to do a video opening one of those, which you'll probably already have seen, already have seen by now. Uh, then there's uh, some Ultra Pro binders there because I needed one for my Cosmic Eclipse reverser, so I'll be doing that either tonight or tomorrow. And the other two were in preparation for Sword and Shield. And what else do we get? We got this was the other thing we were out looking for. So we got two of these Salamance tins. Um, we have one of the Dragonite ones already. These are two mini tins that came out there, Cosmos foils of two cards from different sets. So there's the Salamance that we got two of today. And there's uh, Dragonite. Still need to pick up another Dragonite, but we'll get that at some point soon. Hopefully when we find it, that's just that. Uh, the Walmart near me where we went to look for the bookcases uh, actually restocked a ton of old blisters. So picked up Malolan Executor. I think I picked up two of those. We both needed that one. Uh, I still needed the Saltaria, and I'm pretty sure I still needed this Lucario and Decidueye, so I picked up those two, so those are some older packs. Gonna open at some point later. And this one, this Gallade, I was really unsure if I needed it, but I figured I'd just pick it up just in case. And then we went over to GameStop. No actual TCG products, but they had a lot of uh, Christmas stuff on 75% off, so we ended up getting some cool uh, Pokemon ornaments for our tree. Uh, either next Christmas or Christmas after, you know. I don't know if we're going to be here next Christmas. And then we got these as well. These were like $8 for a full set of uh, planets for your tree. So for $8, we were not going to turn that down. And I got a new uh, Christmas jumper too, Mario Christmas jumper. So all in all, it was a successful shopping trip, I think, and I am going to order the bookcase from the Walmart website, and that should get here in probably about a week or so. So once that's here, I can build that up and I can start moving my binders over, and that will give me a lot more space as well, because I can start then organizing my older binders uh, as nicely and neatly as we've got the Sun and Moon ones organized, and that will really help in figuring out, you know, what it is that we still need. Um, and, you know, once we've done that, then we get caught up and then we'll be good. We'll hopefully be caught up within, what, five to ten years? Something like that. Anyway, that's what we've done. We're going to go now. I'm going to film the Meowth VMAX box opening. And I'll join you guys in a little bit after that. It's now pretty late. We're into the early hours of Tuesday morning. I've been editing for a while since we finished filming. Basically, we filmed the Meowth video. I then sat down, edited the Meowth video. And I finished editing the footage for um, 
our tier list video comes in at about an hour and 45 minutes. So that one's going to be fun when it goes up on Friday. Uh, hopefully it goes up on Friday, that's what the plan is. Um, there's still more to do to it though, I know Laura's actually going to help me out with some stuff on that tomorrow. I don't know if there's much more TCG stuff I need to do tonight, I might actually just play a quick draft on Arena and then head to bed, I know we've got to be up early tomorrow to get some stuff done. And yeah, I'll be back on the TCG stuff tomorrow, I know I can start putting away my Cosmic Eclipse, so I'll probably do that. There's a few other things we'll see. We'll get on to some stuff though, will always be TCG stuff. We're now into the main day of Tuesday, sort of slept in late, had to get up really early to take the car somewhere, but then once we dropped the car off, went back to bed when I got in. Um, so got all of the Meowth video, you know, published, uploaded, so that's all there, you guys hopefully have seen that already, if not, it's on the channel. Um, I'm just going to be going to work soon, just got a couple of hours shift, and then going to be sorting some more stuff when I get back. Um, I think plan for tonight is, got to film Booster Box Wednesday, I have to film that, then tidying all that up, plus sorting my Cosmic Eclipse reverses is going to be the plan for tonight, might get some more stuff done as well, we'll see how it goes. So I'll be back in a couple of hours. Tuesday night now, back from work, first order business is going to be getting the uh, Booster Box Wednesday video filmed and edited, so obviously I need the camera for that so you can't watch that bit, but I'm going to be opening Unified Minds, got, I think it's going to be my last box of Unified Minds, it was the last one that uh, Laura got for working events, I'm going to get that open, I'm going to get that put away, see I'll show you guys it once it's open, see what we needed for the binders, and then see what else we're doing, I think it's Cosmic Eclipse. So that box wasn't too great. All we ended up getting was we each got one full art that we needed. Laura got the full art Heatron GX, and I got the full art uh, Pokemaniac. Here's the two of them down there. Unfortunately, none of the reverses from the box were what I needed, but you know, when you're missing 27 out of like 180 whatever reverses, you know, sometimes you're just not gonna get the, get what you need. But that was a box we got for free for Laura judging anyway. So it was worth opening. Anyway, it is time to go and edit the video for that box opening. And then once that is rendering, I am going to move on to sorting out my Cosmic Eclipse reverses. All right, so Unified Minds box video is uh, edited. It is now rendering. As you can see, it's just working through it there. Going to take a minute. And my next task, obviously, is going to be to put away my Cosmic Eclipse reverse hollows now that I have a binder for them. So while I was editing, while I was just letting the footage go through, I've at least separated the stack of reverse hollows by uh, type. So I'm going to go through those, just put in to the binder what I have. I'm not going to do the spreadsheet for it tonight uh, because, you know, it's just going to take a bit too long. I do have to go to work in the morning. So I'm just going to get this stuff into the binder and that will leave me free to do the spreadsheet tomorrow. So doing the spreadsheet for my Cosmic Eclipse Reversers is going to be pretty high priority on tomorrow's list of what I need to do. The other thing I want to get done tomorrow is I'm going to rearrange my Sun and Moon promo binder. Now that we pretty much know that the Sun and Moon uh, Black Star promo era has ended, you know, we've had multiple Sword and Shield products. We know there's one more product coming out, which is an Alolan Sand Slash box, but that's just one promo. So we know where it's going to end, so I can now start uh, sorting out all of the additional stuff, you know, like staff variants, um, the the A promos with the alternate art. Um, so you'll see a bit more tomorrow how I organize that. So I'm going to get on with my binder. So binder is done, video is almost finished rendering. So yeah, go quick flick through the binder. So I'm guessing I'm missing about half. You know, it's not too bad. Some pages look better than others. But remember, there are going to be gaps in here that are GXs because, you know, as you can see with the Persian up there, I keep GXs in my reverse set too. So there are going to be so much of that. But this set more than any others. Um, trainer section is woeful. Uh, this set more than most is, I mean, you're going to be missing a lot of reverses because the character rares take up the reverse slot, so you're going to be getting, you know, four to six less reverses per box, which adds up, and when you have this many, three copies of reverses, that adds up too. I also remember that I need to make the thumbnail for tomorrow's video tonight as well, so the you know, I've got, what, a minute left rendering on the video, so I'm going to do, gonna let that finish. I'm going to 
made the thumbnail and then I'm gonna go to bed in preparation for work and then after work tomorrow um, actually after work tomorrow I'm cooking for a guest that's coming over so then after the guest's been over that's when we're then gonna work on the Cosmic Clip spreadsheet and the Sun and Moon promo binder and some other stuff all right, it is the evening now, Wednesday evening. Uh, when I said that my first job tonight was to do the spreadsheet for my Cosmic Clips, what I failed to take into account is that Laura needed the laptop to do some uh, picture editing for me for my uh, tier list video, which I'm gonna finish editing tonight. So what I'm actually doing now is I just found some more random boxes of cards. Just gonna go through them, get them sorted, put into the bulk boxes, um, figure out where they need to go. And once I'm all done with that, you know, uh, hopefully Laura will be done with the laptop and I'll be able to get on with the spreadsheet stuff. So I got my laptop back with all of the edited images from Laura. That was pretty sweet. It was n not a job I wanted to take myself. Uh, Laura is a lot better with the photo editing programs than I am. Uh, that box actually turned out to be a lot of non-holo rares, just bulk, but that was really nice. It's obviously a lot better than just bulk commons and uncommons. So they're all sorted. They're away in all of the bulk boxes, ready to go and be taken down to trade in for a sword shield case you know probably at the end of the month when the set officially drops so now i'm going to do my spreadsheet get that updated and then uh, i think i'll listen to a podcast something while i do it and then before i actually start on my promo binder as i said i was going to do i'm then going to make a start on uh editing the rest of that tier list video because that is it's still going to take some work uh i actually didn't mention in this thing, yeah, I did post my Boosterbox Wednesday video today. That's something that I did um, before I made dinner for our guest coming over. Anyway, and then after that, I'm probably going to start emptying some boxes because I have a few things down here where it looks like a lot of this stuff just needs emptied out because it seems to be like empty elite trainer boxes and stuff. And I have some of those stacked up because I use those for storage so I can actually put cards in, label them up uh, when I need to. So I'm going to get those out and get some of the cardboard boxes, you know, sorted, emptied out of the room. Um, that's the plan anyway, we'll see how far we get tonight, um, but we'll keep you updated. The spreadsheet got done, uh, Just I just put the numbers in for what I need, I'm gonna go through and put the names in later, because, you know, get the numbers, I need the binder out, so then it's easier to go through and put the names in later when I'm just at the laptop and have, you know, one screen up on my phone or one screen up on Laura's laptop. Um, so I don't need to be sitting flipping through the binder. Um, I edited <laughs> that video. It took about three hours to get the images and stuff all set up the way I wanted to, but I'm actually really happy with how it's looking. I'm really excited to put that up, see what people think. Um, it's rendering now. It's going to be rendering pretty much all night. I think it's going to take you know, at least a good two, three hours to render. So I'm probably going to bed pretty soon. I did pull that last box out and it does just appear to be uh, empty ETBs and stuff. So I'm gonna get those stacked up. I'll match some you know, boxes up with their lids. So I'll start using them for storage. And then that's, you know, it's another box unpacked. It's a slow process, we're working on it, but that's the best way to take it. Just take it one box at a time and we'll see how we're getting on. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that, I'm gonna do that box out and then I am going to bed because editing a video for three hours kinda takes it out of me a little bit when I'm already tired. So we'll see what we get on to tomorrow. Okay, so after sleeping in a bit, after being up all night editing, I woke up to like a dozen Facebook messages from Laura yelling at me that uh, the build a bear stuff online for Pokemon was on sale because um, we missed out on getting Snorlax and Pichu when they were first out because um, we were just hit with, we didn't have cash, basically, at the time. Um, so, Pichu is currently in stock and he's 30% off, so she was yelling when you get Pichu. And the Flareon, which was originally Australia exclusive, like the first week, went online too. Um, Flareon doesn't have a card for some reason, which is interesting. Um, but we went and we got Pichus and Flareons, so those should hopefully be here in a week or two, and I guess technically TCG stuff, because Pichu comes with the exclusive Pikachu card. And we're getting Jolteon and uh, Vaporeon later in the year, which I'm excited about, because I really like Vaporeon, so we're getting a Vaporeon plush. Uh, and then, got those, and then the main line came, and brought me this. Got my uh, Solgaleo Alola collection there, which is nice. Uh, I actually have the Lunala one down there. Now, I opened these on my channel when they first came out, because we got Laura's copies then, and then they were ones I just never picked up for myself. 
And now normally with stuff like that, at this point I'd be just be picking up the promos, but I figured, you know, the first video I did for Sun and Moon TCG was those Alola collections, and the Lunala one I got a little while back because it was just really heavily discounted on um, Amazon, when I on someone's Amazon page while I was buying some other stuff. So I was like, oh great, well I'll pick that up because it was not much uh, more expensive than the promos would have been. And then I thought, well you know, I might as well get the Solgaleo one too and make it so that my last video for the Sun and Moon era of the TCG is opening the same products as the first one. I thought that'd be kind of cool. So I'm going to be doing that uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, so I'm right now about to go and have some... Well, not really breakfast, it's two in the afternoon. Um, some sort of lunch, probably just have leftovers from yesterday. And then I'm gonna come back in here and we'll figure out what boxes and stuff we can start opening, what cards we can start putting away. So current plan is I'm gonna go around now and round up all of like this stuff, extra copies of League promos, and I'm just gonna make up a box, um, like one of those ETBs, just of all of those extra ones, just to get them out of the way. It's gonna tidy a lot of the desk up and it's gonna give me a lot more room to start working on other stuff. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then, I don't know, and then we we'll, should probably do that uh, Sun and Moon Binder. Uh, also worth noting, the, um, the bookshelf I mentioned earlier in the week, we're not actually going to order until next week now, because when we went to put it into order it, the uh, scheduled delivery date was going to be in the middle of next week, next Wednesday. We're actually going out of town for a couple of days next week, um, you'll see why then, because it's partially Pokemon related, partially Laura's birthday related, so you'll see it then. Uh, but we didn't want it to arrive and get left outside and be sitting outside for a couple of days. We don't really know our neighbours well enough to uh, ask them to go and bring it in for us. So that is going to happen then. So that changes things around a bit. It means I'm going to be less focused on my X and Y stuff until after that that comes in because once the X and, once the bookshelf comes in, I can you know, get all the X and Y stuff fully separated out. Um, I can start getting all that sorted and catalogued as well. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get on with this now. I also do need to remember to myself that I need to get um, a new code for Microsoft Office so all my Excel spreadsheets are gonna start working in a couple of days. So I need to remember to do that at some point too. So start off a box of random promos, it'll stay there. And then just as needed, I'm gonna keep adding to it. Just as I find stuff, I'm not gonna go around and desperately try and drag out every last promo right now. One thing I did do in the boxes is, as you can see back there, I now have a box full of those shooters from McDonald's back when we did you know, the McDonald's video where we try to get the full set eat only by eating McDonald's and not buying singles, uh, which we did, you know, we got there. But it meant we had a load of leftover shooters and we left a load of them in the packet if we could see that we didn't need the card. And the packets are like really big and just took up a lot of space. So one of the things that just needed doing, you know, was empty those out, set right out the cards, put the shooters somewhere and get rid of the packaging. And it was just one of those stupid little things that just sits there and you're like, oh, this will take me 20 minutes and that's all it took me but it's just one of the things I didn't do but now it's done it's out of the way and then I added some stuff to my Sun and Moon promo binder so this is my promo binder here uh, early Sun and Moon for me is looking a bit a bit low it gets a bit better towards the end of the era there are still quite a few cards I have that I haven't uh, opened up yet they're all still in here there's a few things still to go but what, I've I, what I was organizing was adding in the extra cards so any cards that have a second variant so as you see there like the uh, sequin foil staff promos stuff like that the golden Solgaleo Lunala you've got the detective Pikachu cards just added those in most of what I'm still missing there is just um, pre-release staff cards and then there's one or two uh, yellow A alternate cards. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to update Laura's Dragon Binders. Now Laura's Dragon Binders are her collection of of uh, dragons from Magic the Gathering. She's trying to collect all of the dragons since it's her favorite creature type. She just really likes dragons. And we've been letting it kind of slip a little bit, especially since we moved. So there's quite a few sets where she has dragons just lying around, you know, in different places um, where we don't have dragons in the binder yet. So I'm going to try and update the binder, get everything moved to the right place, put in what I've got, and get her spreadsheet up to date. So I'm gonna start working on that now. Laura's Dragon Binder now updated all the new stuff that she's got put in. Still quite a lot of gaps. We haven't been picking up too many singles of those lately, but I'm sure we'll pick up some more soon. I may even end up opening some in packs. Probably just gonna do a little bit more stuff, um, opening some loose stuff around, putting some more cards away. 
before heading to bed because um, tomorrow I do have that dentist appointment that I went to last week when I didn't have it. Don't really know what uh, tomorrow's main job is going to be before work, but we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Might just be opening some more stuff again, putting more stuff away. We'll see. Okay, so uh, Friday afternoon, um, after going to bed pretty late and an early start, I put away a few more cards, nothing too major, did publish the uh, tier list video finally. Um, I'm actually now going to bed for a bit of a nap before work, and then it's another one where I'm working till midnight, and then probably going to be doing some stuff later when I get home. So I will uh, be back then, I don't know what we're going to plan on doing, but I'm sure we'll find something. So I'm back after finishing work Friday night, it's now early hours of Saturday morning. What I've uh, done is I've unpacked a lot of the, you know, tins and other boxes and stuff that I had lying around that I decided I wasn't going to do videos on yet. So I'm going to get all the promos in my binder, I'm just going to open up all of these loose packs. I also started packing up all of the loose tins because the store where we take our bulk cards to um, also will pay a couple of dollars each for the tins and Honestly, we don't need to keep them. We have enough like ET like ETBs and stuff are way better for storage. Um, we'll keep a couple of the cool tins that we like, um, the artwork or whatever on, and we keep the lunchbox tins because the lunchboxes look cool and have all the extra stuff in them. But the majority of the tins just sit around, would sit around doing nothing if we didn't trade them in. So they're all packed up. So what we're gonna do now is just open those packs, you know, check them against the spreadsheet, check if there's anything that we need. Uh, if there's not, you know, goes into the bulk. If there is, great. Not a couple of things off the spreadsheet. There is some um, burning shadows there, so you know, fingers crossed on that rainbow red Charizard. So I'm just gonna do that now. If there's anything like really good, if I do end up pulling the Charizard or whatever, I'll uh, pick the camera back up and film a bit more of that. But if not, I'm just gonna do that and then probably head to bed and then we'll work on some more stuff tomorrow, probably. So the results of those random packs were actually pretty good. Over here is Laura's stuff. She actually traded for those two a little while ago, so I'm not counting those, but she had two Rainbow Rays. So she got Venusaur and Snivy from uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, she got Lycan Rock GX from Burning Shadows. And a Reverse Hollow Horsey, which means she's only missing one Reverse Hollow from that set. Don't remember which off the top of my head, but that's pretty decent. I got a couple of Crimson Invasion cards. I got a Secret Rare Warp Energy and a Buzzwall GX that I needed for my Reverse set. Funnily enough, uh, the Golden Warp Energy we both needed at the start of this week, but I pulled Laura's Warp Energy earlier. Um, I got a couple of good things from Cosmic, some, a few reverses, a Burning Shadows reverse there. Got a couple of decent reverses, uh, and a f regular Foil Lola and Ninetales, which I was just missing for some reason, because Cosmic is a giant set. I'm actually still missing Foil uh, Saws Buck, and the Mega Lock Bunny and Jigglypuff I was missing from the main set too. Uh, so look, and I got actually a few GXs from uh, Guardians Rising. So a Drampa, a Sylveon, and an Alola the Ninetales that needed. The Alola the Ninetales and Drampa are going in my reverse set, and the Sylveon actually still needed for my main set. So I will still be needing another Sylveon at some point in the future. But all in all, it was a pretty decent pulls just for you know packs that were just in product that would just. No, no one's going to ever save money for them. They come with the products that we bought for the promos. You know, there's still a lot more of that lying around, but all that's pretty good. So we've knocked off about, what, 20, 30 cards from what we need for the era. So I'd call it decent overall. Gonna get these, just going to get these put away now, and then I think it will be bedtime. And then I'll be back on this tomorrow. All right, so Saturday now, we're up, we've had breakfast, we've got a couple of hours before I start work and Laura has to start running League. So I'm actually going to start editing this that you're watching right now. Uh, Laura's actually going to do some of what I was doing yesterday, open up some of these products that we're not going to do videos on. She's got like the mini tins there, which just come with a couple of packs and an art card, the Pokeball tins that come with just a couple of packs, some other regular tins, some lunch boxes etc. She's gonna get the promos out and then we'll see what packs we get and then she can open the packs and we can figure stuff out from there. Laura finished opening all of the tins. Hi Laura. Hi. So we're gonna open these packs now. Laura wanted to open her uh, set, um, was it Snorlax Eevee tin mm -hmm. from Santa on her own. So she opened the packs and that separately and I got this Hooper which I needed, which Laura didn't, which I'm happy with. Yeah. Um, but then we have this big stack of packs, so we're gonna go through that now and uh, compare it to the spreadsheet and see what we need. So all in all, Laura came out with this really sweet Fallout Mars for her collection, and I did pretty well. I got three rainbows, three GXs, and a load of reverse hollows that I needed for my stuff, and of course, we have all the promos that we needed. Uh, those are Laura's promos, those are my promos. 
Um, I still do, then again, need <laughs> all these promos, but we don't have two copies of the tins just yet for the lunchbox tins. Oops. But that's another, what, couple of dozen cards added to the collection between these and those, so... Yeah, not bad. Not too bad at all. So, just got back from my uh, Saturday work, had some food, came in, I thought, only thing I'll be doing at night is pretty much editing the video, uh, this video for you guys to see tomorrow. But, uh, Laura had a delivery while I was out at work, the... Her build bear delivery arrived, and the Pichu had a promo with it. It was a promo of Pikachu rather than Pichu, which is weird. Uh, Laura told me, you know, I put them on your desk. I said, alright, I'll deal with them later. And... They are Blackstar promos. Reprints of Blackstar promos with a build bear stamp. And they weren't on the list I was using. I was using Bulbapedia's list. Sometimes Bulbapedia misses stuff. I've been trying to keep it up to date. So that's going to mean that... Uh, our Sun and Moon promo binders have to move. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad for mine, because I only have to move the extras, so it's probably like 20 cards have to move. Uh, Laura's, it probably means about 200 cards have to move, so that's going to be on the uh, my list of jobs for next week. Uh, and I am going to get Bullpedia edited tonight, I'll get that added in, you know, so the same mistake isn't made with other people. Then all that remains for me to do tonight is to get this edited uh, for you guys to see tomorrow. So as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these weekly updates and video diaries, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>